All right, welcome back, True Seeker. It is Thursday, September 9th, 2021. I thought last night that today would be eventful with the headlines, and so far, quite a few big stories by the numbers. You got Ford, the major auto manufacturer, taking a $2 billion loss ending production in India immediately announced today by the Jesuit. Again, if you're new here, we talk about the Jesuits a lot and their little code of letters and numbers and how they got the whole calendar synced up with the language. But if you're not aware, the CEO of Ford is Jim Farley, whose name equals 99, and this big announcement comes on 99. Big number to this nation. This nation was named on this day in history, September 9th, 1776. But Jim Farley, who went to Jesuit Georgetown, comes out today on 9-9 and he says, you know, we're, we're taking a $2 billion loss. We're cutting our losses here. We're out of India, just like General Motors. And um, this comes at the same time, the exact same time, the news media's kicking up this stir about a new variant of COVID in India. And I'll remind you, the Jesuit order simulated the coronavirus pandemic with Event 201, October 18th, 2019. It was led by the Jesuit Klaus Schwab and a bunch of other Jesuits, not to mention 201's the favorite number of the Jesuits. But um, Event 201, at around the 18-month mark of the pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic, people start dying rapidly in mega cities that are impoverished, which should remind you of India. So funny that we're about to hit the 18-month mark of the pandemic in two days, September 11th. Again, the pandemic was declared March 11th, 2020. September 11th, 2021 will be 18 months. And Ford is out of India at this time. That same Ford that all year has been playing the same advertisement for nearly a year now because it started last football season. But the big Ford pickup truck with the beast cometh. I mean, I I, I would hate, I'm sure there's a real count out there. They're probably going to play that commercial 6,666,666,000 times before they're done. But, I mean, they've been playing that commercial nonstop over and over. Uh, Last year during a football game, it would go to commercial break, and they'd start the commercial break with Ford the Beast Cometh, and then they'd do a beer ad and maybe a, a pharmaceutical ad or something, and then they'd come back with the Beast Cometh again. You'd be like, wow. They've been playing it all game, and they even had to do it two times during this commercial break. The Beast Cometh. You know, I've shown this commercial a million times. I was talking about this, uh, you know, throughout the NBA playoffs, the, the way they, <laughs> it's just, ah, man, they've been, they've been going nuts with this beast cometh stuff. And I want, I want to show you something else about the CEO of Ford, whose name equals 99 in Gematria in your most simple cipher. A is one, B is two, C is three, D is four, E is five, F is six. This is so simple. Jim Farley, 99, who went to Jesuit Georgetown. Again, if you're new here, the Jesuits recognized to counter the 95 Theses. They've been serving the Roman Catholic Church since the 16th century. And um, again, about you know, not even quite a half decade after their service to Rome, that's when the calendar that we're now out, the calendar system we now use rolled out, the Gregorian calendar, named after Pope Gregory. And um, English standardized a 26-letter alphabet. They happened all at the same time, and it's so obvious if you go through history that they've been controlling the show, this Jesuit order, on their calendar and their time, speaking a language that's credited to a Catholic monk. It's just so obvious that we're just living out their rituals day after day after day, and we're going to make that point in a big way. But we're starting real simple with the Jesuit-educated CEO of Ford on 9-9 making the big announcement in India as there's a, you know, a COVID crisis on the verge in India. They're making it seem in the news right now, you know. And by the way, just in Gematria with the most simple cipher, beast equals 47. Henry Ford died in the year 47 on the date April 7th, 47. But look at this. In light of the beast cometh commercial. If you write out Jesuit order using the alphabetic order and the alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, it's 144 and 54. And notice Jim Farley, the CEO, who's Jesuit educated, when you run the alphabetic order in reverse, his name equals 144 and 54 with numerology. His name also equals 45 in the most pure cipher, which is the ninth triangular number. And here we are on 9-9 again. But with regards to his company doing this commercial over and over about the beast cometh, mark of the beast, the phrasing, 144.54. You see how it's 54 
forwards, 81 in reverse. Remember, Kobe Bean Bryant, his name is just like that. Kobe Bean Bryant, 54-81, dead one weekend before Super Bowl 54. His high career high was 81 points in his 666th game, 666, the number of the beast. Having it is the mark of the beast. So I think it's all coming together pretty clearly, right? Mark of the beast, 144-54. Jesuit order, 144-54. The CEO of Ford, 144.54. And um, forwards, 99. And today's news on 99. Okay. There, there's more that could even be said about this, such as how from his June 10th birthday to today, September 9th is 91 days later, or 13 weeks. And 91 is the 13th triangular number, which means if you add 1 through 13 together, it equals 99. And remember, end equals 13. They're ending production immediately today on 99 in India, the American company. And don't, don't forget, the United States of America equals 99. And it was named today in history on September 9th, 1776, 99. When you write out 13, it equals 99. Like this nation that began with 13 colonies, 13 stripes. Also interesting is that today has 59 date numerology. He's 59 years old. Carr is 59. We'll talk more about how Pope Francis fits in in a bit. There's an interesting article written about Pope Francis today. So there's a headline for 99. American core company Ford with a big announcement. India and America, it's an ongoing joke, right? Christopher Columbus thought he was in India. He named the people here Indians. The Jesuits and their jokes. So how about this? We got Russian cosmonauts supposedly doing the second of 11 spacewalks up at the International Space Station, or the IHS, which is 47. We'll be talking more about 47 in a big way here in just a minute. But uh, these cosmonauts, Oleg Novitsky and Peter Dubrov. So check it out. Novitsky, the way he spells it, you know, N-O-V-I-T-S-K-I-Y, 99, right? <laughs> so, wow, you know, that's the first guy they name on 99. And, um, you know, his surname, it, it looks a lot like the other guy we just talked about. Look at this, Novitsky, 144.54. 99, also 45. Isn't that interesting? Somebody's going, but this is just his surname before you had his first and last name. That's true. That's true, but still you got to say, what are the odds? I always look at things the same way, the name and the surname. It's usually one or the other. And uh, I'll rest my case here. And, and again, for the new person who's like, well, maybe this is a magic trick and you can make anything equal, whatever you want. Here, I'll just use me. My name is Zachary. Let's see if I'd fit in today since we can make anything what we wanted to. Does today? Does these numbers go with today at all? I'm Zachary. No, they don't. What about my middle name? You know, they don't go with today. What about my last name? They don't go to, with today either. What if you do Zachary Hubbard? You know, they don't go with today either. You see what I mean? So you can't make anything equal anything. These guys both happen to have a very clear 99 connection when we know how special 99 is. And don't forget, it is Thursday, named after Jupiter, and Jupiter's 99 in the most simple cipher as well. So 9-9 this year fell on a Thursday, which is why I said this should be a day ripe with big news headlines, and I feel like it's living up to it. But, um, you know, an outer space story with the Jesuit stamp all over it by the numbers. Again, NASA is a Masonic Jesuit creation. Remember, the Jesuit Order 201, Neil Alden Armstrong 201, the Freemason who... Became the first to walk on the moon after the moon mission landing July 20th, the 201st day of the year. The Twilight Zone equals 201. First episode's about a manned mission to the moon. Again, predictive programming, TV, news. But, oh, the other thing that's interesting about this Novitsky is from his birthday, October 12th, to today's is 333rd day of his age. 333, 3 plus 3 plus 3, 9, you know what I mean? 369, Nikola Tesla. The other astronaut whose name is Piotr Dubrov, whose name equals 59 in the most pure cipher, just like today has 59 date numerology. Reverse, his name's 58, like Freemasonry is 58 and 59. NASA, very Masonic. Again, you think about this nation, D.C., the capital. It's where the Jesuits have been longer than the federal government, and the Masons have been there almost as long. 
The 32nd degree of the Scottish Rite shares the motto with the Jesuits at Merim de Glorium. But anyhow, you know, Pope Francis, what we'll be talking about is Mr. 5958. Learn something new about Pope Francis with 59 today that I'll share here in a minute. And um, with regards to Pior, P, Pitor, from his birthday, January 30th, to today, September 9th, is his 223rd day of his age. He's 43 years old. Masonic's got the Gematria 43 in the base ciphers, 223 in the most important cipher outside of it, Jewish Gematria. So perfect Masonic ritual. Jesuit is 78. Scottish Rite is 78. Again, the Jesuits and the Scottish Rite share the motto at Merim de Glorium. They mention the first of 11 spacewalks. They say this mission la launched on July 21st. The moon mission, July 20th, the landing date, the 201st day of the year. They actually say Neil Alden Armstrong first set foot on the moon on July 21st. That's what day this mission took off. That's the day in history the Jesuits were banned by the Pope. And... Um, Again, I, I'm just saying I don't think that's a coincidence. Keep in mind, July 21st is in Cancer. The moon is ruled by Cancer. The astrological symbol for the moon is looking a lot like 69. And the moon landing was supposedly in 1969. You know what? As I say that out loud, hold on. Let, let me get this guy's name, Gematria, one more time. Was it him or was it somebody else? No, it wasn't him. Shoot. There was something I almost noted that I did not. It's okay. Whatever. There's enough information here. I hate when I let things slip through my mind that I knew were there. But oh, check this out. They mentioned how in the article, the first spacewalk was September 3rd, right? We, we know what's up with September 3rd. And then they say the second one's today, the day leaving 113 days left in the year, which is the 30th prime number. And then they say the next will be September 12th. And it was supposed to take place August 24th, but it got delayed. Look at this. August 24th is the day leaving 129 days left in the year. That mission was delayed to September 12th, 12 slash 9, like 129. In the most simple cipher, Astronauts 129. Today leaves 113 days left in the year, the 30th prime. Astronauts 30 in the most pierced cipher. If you use the rule with S, remember S is the 19th letter. The numerology of 19 is 1 plus 9 is 10. 10 is 1 plus 0 is 1. It's the only letter that you have to compress two times to get to a single digit. That's why it has the rule that it can be 10 or 1. If you make it 10, astronauts also 39, like how the other walk was on 39, right? So, again, as per always, NASA reporting by the numbers. Don't forget Na NASA's full name, if you don't know this. Here, what does NASA stand for? I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to do a copy-paste. NASA stands for National Aeronautics and Space Administration, right? In the base ciphers, boom, 666. You know, it's got the 441, which is 144 in reverse, the Jesuit order number, 171, which is the 18th triangular number, IHS 18 in the Jesuit logo, Jesuits and Masons. But yeah, what are, what are the odds that the two astronauts, their names clearly connect to the date? Right? Novitsky 99 and Piotr Dubra, 59 on the 59 date numerology. What are the odds of this? And again, you have to say, well, what, what are the odds that this is just going to keep lining up every time there's a, there's a big space story in the news? Because this is the way it is every single time as we document every single time. I mean, it, it's improbable that this is anything but ritual. It's so obvious. Secret societies, large and in charge, using knowledge that's been forgotten to the masses. Knowledge that was once important to society. This all comes from Kabbalah. Let me see how far I am into the video. Because there will surely be someone who will leave the comment, This is dumb. Why would anyone do this? So I'm 14 minutes into the video. Uh, let it be known. At the 14 minute mark, I explained for the millionth time what's on the first pages of both of my books. The reason they do this is because of Kabbalah. Kabbalah says God created the world with numbers, letters, and words. This is how these people play God every single day. Okay. Now, for more mockery, remains of two more 9-11 victims, the remains of two more World Trade Center victims from 9-11 have been identified. And this news breaks Thursday, September 9th, two days before the anniversary of the fall of the two towers. And in just a moment, I'm going to go back and talk about 
the Lord of the Rings series, which released in film right after 9-11, and the second of those films ended up being The Two Towers, just like the name of the book. But we'll, we'll go back and look at all that in light of today's story. But two days before the anniversary, two victims, and of the two victims, they only name one. They say it was a male and a female, Dorothy Morgan. And Rambo's talked about this before, the Twin Towers and the male symbolism and the female symbolism. You know, one has that antenna thing at the top, kind of like an erection. Rambo's put this in more articulate terms before, but Rambo's talked about the male and female nature of the World Trade Centers. So we get a man and a woman, right? And the man is unnamed. The woman is Dorothy Morgan. Reminds me how a lot of these sports stars, you know about the mom, but the dad's a big secret. It's because the dad's a former NBA player or NFL player too, and they don't want to let you know that they're breeding humans ritualistically for so many rigged things, including rigged sports, like 9-11 Patriot Act, Patriots, <laughs> and so many other examples. But anyway, it's the 1646th person and the 1647th. And they say the experts estimate that there's 1,100 remaining victims to be identified from 9-11. 1,100, right? The master ritual on 9-11, you know? Now we got 1,100 remaining victims. But check out the gematria of Dorothy Morgan in our most two classic ciphers that we learned from Manly P. Hall's The Secret Teachings of All Ages. Dorothy Morgan, this is all I knew when I began these two ciphers. 173, 74. 173 is the 40th prime, and 74 is 74. Look at the coordinates of where the World Trade Centers were. The 40th parallel north, the 74th meridian west, right? These are special numbers, 40 and 74. And again, this is propaganda for a nation. United States is 40. Our establishment date is 74, right? United States, again, to remind you, United States is 40 forward, 77 in reverse. When you write out September 11th as words. September 11th, 77. When you write out World Trade Center, 77. Again, on 9-11, you had Flight 77. Hit the 77-foot tall Pentagon on the 77th Meridian West, 77 minutes after taking off. Again, number rituals. And... Again, this was propaganda for a nation. United States 4077, the nation's capital on the 77th meridian. Pentagon construction began on September 11th, 1941. And keep in mind, the name Dorothy Morgan also equals 61 and 74, like Jesus is 61 and 74. And again, that's the Society of Jesus, the Jesuit order behind all of this. September 11th is New Year's Day on the Christian Coptic calendar. So, two victims, two days before the anniversary. Two towers. And again, today is the anniversary of the United States of America being named, which we'll touch more on here in a moment. Remember also, the last time we really covered a story like this was July 26, 2018, which is New York's day of joining the Union as the 11th state. Um, it's also George Clinton's birthday, the first governor of New York, July 26th. He's born in 1739. But um, there, there was a lot to this. It was 17 years after. Oh, I even have the thing about George Clinton here. That Hold on. So many familiar numbers. But the, 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 the victim, the victim's name was Scott Michael Johnson 223, right? Like the synagogue of Satan, like Masonic. You know, just numbers that they use redundantly and as they code in their propaganda over and over and over. And um, yeah, just, just the ritual of it, that, that New York related news on New York's anniversary of a, a joining the union as the 11th state right 9-11 so you had that story and with regards to the two victims two days before the anniversary of the collapse of the two towers let's go back and look at the lord of the rings series the movie series debuted at the end of 2001 right after 9-11 
And the book series, we, we've been pointing out for years what was so interesting about the book, The Two Towers, coming out on 11-11, 47 years before 9-11. But here, let's go back and look at all this. So The Lord of the Rings came out December 19th, 2001, right? 99 days after September 11th. And think about 9 and 11. What is 9 times 11? 99. And 99, we're talking about propaganda for a nation. The United States of America and the most pure cipher. The United States of America is 99. Named on September 9th, 1776. In the most simple cipher, when you write out 13, I know you see the United States of America 144 like Jesuit order. But when you write out 13, it's also 99. The nation that came out of 13 colonies. Remember, you know, the, the 13 stripes on the flag. 13 years of school that they make us go to, to learn all the bullshit, to become good, useful idiots. So, again, you have, you have that con- coincidence. And then we're going to talk about the Bavarian Illuminati and how it fits in with this Lord of the Rings thing. Remember, the Bavarian Illuminati was established May 1st, 1776. 5 plus 1 plus 17 plus 76, 99 on a 99 date numerology with 13 families. And from that day to September 9th, the naming of this country was a span of 132 days. United States of America's got the 132. Catholic Church has the 132. Roman Catholic has the 132. Remember, The White House in D.C. has 132 rooms. The White House is named after a man who was Catholic. D.C. used to be Rome on the Potomac, and the Jesuits have been there longer than the federal government, and the Bavarian Illuminati was created by the Jesuit Adam Weishaupt, and the Jesuits serve Rome in the Catholic Church. So all of this is way too perfect. 132 days. We've been pointing these things out for years, too. I mean, this isn't new information. This is stuff I've been time out for years. That's why on page 29 of my first book that came out in 2017, I came to the conclusion that at the end of the day, the very tip of this spear is the Catholic Church and the Jesuits, and that was reaffirmed with this entire pandemic, which couldn't be any more Jesuit. And Kobe Bryant's death at the start of that year, which was a huge Jesuit Catholic ritual while he was traveling from Catholic Mass. But look at this. Look how these numbers come together. You know, The Illuminati, this book series, and the 9-11 Jesuit ritual. Look at this. Look at the way this unfolds. The book, The Two Towers, released on 11-11-54, right? Jesuit Order 54. That was 47 years before September 11, 2001, where the third building to fall that day was 47 floors tall, like The Lord of the Rings is a trilogy, three. 47 years, Time 47, Vatican 47, the man who made the films, Peter Jackson 47, which came out 47 years later. Osama bin Laden's another 47. The name of that book that came out 11, Two Towers. Two Towers is 158. The Jesuits were created August 15th, 15 slash 8. Freemasonry equals 158. The Builders, the Catholic Church, the Jesuits, Modern Freemasonry being created in the Jesuit stronghold, June 24th, 1717 in London, on a date with 47 numerology. Again, 47 big with the Masons. 47th problem of Euclid. Foundation. This nation. Masonic Jesuit. Birthday. Fourth month of the seventh day. But the Jesuits and the Masons. The Masons are the builders, and who has the best buildings in nearly every town in this world? The Catholic Church. That's the clear connection between the Catholic Church and the builders, you know? Plus, the masonry secrets, they're all biblical. You know, they're all Old Testament, Solomon's Temple. The Jesuits are Catholic and Jewish. The Scottish Rite's the most Jewish branch of Freemasonry that shares the motto with the Jesuits. Remember, Catholics 145 and 46 in Gematria, like 46 books in the Catholic Old Testament and 145 more chapters. But notice also, Two Towers, 41, which is the 13th prime. 9-11 happened on a date with 41 numerology. It was blamed on Al-Qaeda, which equals 41. Same with Saudi Arabia. USA is another 41. With regards to Two Towers equaling 85, if you write The Lord of the Rings, it's 85. 
And Two Towers is also 49, like America. And you know what? As I say that out loud, I'm pretty sure Twin Towers is 49 as well, if I'm not mistaken. It sure is. Twin Towers is also 49 in America. Two Towers. Twin Towers. Regarding the 85... Remember, we invaded Afghanistan October 7th, the day leaving 85 days left in the year, in a Templar ritual, Templars 85. That show Nightfall about the Templars, the star actors born in 85. There's a lot more to it, but um, again, the Jesuits. In their logo is the Templar cross. The Jesuits are the newer military order of the Catholic Church. The Templars are the older order. And as for J.R.R. Tolkien... His his name, Gematria, and birthday, and death. Look at how all this comes together. He died on September 2nd, right? September 2nd. A date that can be written 9-2. Manhattan is 92, right? And the numerology of... Man it's also 29. September 2nd can be right 9-2 or 2-9. But what, what is that day in terms of numbers? 9 plus 2 is 11, right? The two towers, 11-11 in Manhattan. And, you know... The day he died, September 2nd, is the day leaving 120 days left in the year. Illuminati's 120 in the most simple cipher. And his full name is 120 as well. You see how his name is 105 and 258? Look how order of Illuminati. What Adam Weishaupt renamed the Bavarian Illuminati knows how it's 105 and 258. Order of Illuminati, also 93, all the 93s that we're talking about, left and right, 93 World Trade Center bombing. Order of Illuminati, 201, big Jesuit order number. But with regards to his author name, the way he went by, J.R.R. Tolkien, knows the 132, Catholic number, a number connecting to this nation where 9-11 happened. His name is 51 in the most pure cipher, just like Adam Weishaupt, the established, the man who established the Bavarian Illuminati on May 1st, 5-1, that serves Rome. Rome is 51 in the most simple cipher. His name's also 138 like federal and 66 like number of the beast. Remember, New York and Sumerian Gematria is 666. The phrase number of the beast is also 258 like Order of Illuminati, like William Henry Gates, whose name is also like 201. His dad died on the 258th day of last year. He set up his vaccine alliance on the 258th day of his age, July 12th, 1999. That day can be written 12 slash 7, like 127. Bavarian Illuminati is 127. And, um, of course, he was one of the main sponsors of Event 201. William Henry Gates, Bill Gates' full name, 258, 201, same ciphers. Just like that. 201-258. Order of Illuminati. 201-258. Adam Weishaupt, who established the Illuminati and renamed it Order of Illuminati, died 201 days after the anniversary of its establishment. And he died on the 322nd day of the year, November 18th. Like when Bill Gates' dad died, he died on the 258th day of the year, 322 days after his own birthday. And again, that's the number of skull and bones that's modeled after the Knights Templar. And again, the Jesuits have the Templar cross in their logo. And Bill Gates' dad died on 14 slash 9. Skull and Bones is 149. Again, all this stuff, how it comes together. Skull and Bones, 41. 9-11 on the 41 date with the Skull and Bones member as president. While his dad gave the speech 11 years to the day, number 41, who was in Skull and Bones, about a new world order, a world free or a terror. And the new world order is clearly the Jesuit order. The Roman Catholic Church... But look at it. I mean, his name is 132 like Catholic Church, 51 like Rome, 138 like Federal. The Federal Cities was once called Rome on the Potomac, 66 like Number of the Beast, like Empire. Consider that 66 is also the 11th triangular number because his book, The Two Towers, came out on 1111, and the World Trade Center was in New York, the 11th state, where the buildings look like a massive 11. The first flight was AA11, right? So 66, the 11th triangular number. 11, the master number. In our language, math equals 66. So does New Testament. Notice how New Testament, 
Again, is 42 and 66. 42, 66. Look at math. 42, 66. The New Testament begins with the 42 generations to Jesus. The Protestant Bible ends with the 66th book of the Bible, where you learn about the number of the beast, which is 66. And 258, like Order of Illuminati and William Henry Gates. And vac- you know, vaccine's a big 666 word in Sumerian. But... Um, 66 is the 11th triangular number. Beast is 11 in the most pure cipher. And so is Jesus. And Revelation teaches about the number of the beast. It's also about the return of Jesus. And Revelation equals 121 in the most simple cipher, which has a square root of 11. There's a lot more that can be said about the the Revelation gematria, but I know how some people get overwhelmed when I just talk about two numbers alone. So that might have been too much for some people, but... Again, people's brains need more processing power. So I'm not slowing down for slow processors. They're not gonna they're not gonna be the change we need to see in the world. Anyway. His name, author name, 51, like Adam Weishaupt, like how the Bavarian Illuminati was established May 1st by the Jesuit. Lord of the Rings, Gematria of 80, like Bavarian Illuminati. And then you got Peter Jackson making the films. His name's quite interesting. 187 in the same cipher as Society of Jesus. 70 like Vatican. Well, 47 and 70 like Vatican. 137, the 33rd prime. I mean, these are hallmark numbers right here. 1968, the year the 911 plan went into motion. 33 years before 2001. And I was just reading up on the Lord of the Rings series. It picks up when the man who found the ring is 111 years old. Isn't that interesting? In light of the movie came out right after September 11th in New York. Again, New York in the most simple cipher is 111. You know. They live in the Shire. There's Yorkshire. But right after the 111th birthday, the story picks up. September 11th is the day leaving 111 days left in the year. If you do put the the on the front of the the story, the Lord of the Rings, it's 95, like Bilbo, as in Bilbo Baggins, you know, who found the ring. And again, 95, the Jesuits created to counter the 95 Theses, recognized by Rome on the day leaving 95 days left in the year. Right now, the scumbag Fauci, the Jesuit, Fauci 95, you know, threw out the first pitch in the coronavirus season and the same gay game Garrett Cole picked up his 95th career win after being signed on his 95th day of his age. Again, the point is, these numbers are important to these people and these numbers all point to the Jesuit order in a big way. The ones who know the code, who designed the code in the language and synced it up with the calendar. As for the big star uh, in the Lord of the Rings, Elijah Wood, who plays Frodo, Look at his name, Elijah Wood, 102. Remember, the 9-11 attack lasted 102 minutes. Al-Qaeda's 102 in Jewish Gematria. The 9-11 attack was simulated June 1st, 2001, 102 days before the attack. That government simulation has Osama bin Laden on the cover sheet. (laughs) Al-Qaeda, 102, 102-minute attack. If you use the rule with S, United States of America is also 102. Big, Big number with the American Civil War that began on the 102nd day of the year, April 12th, 1861. Elijah Wood is 48 in the most pure cipher, just like Illuminati. You know, Illuminati. And 168 in the most simple cipher, New York City's 168. New York's 111, City's 57. 111 plus 57 is 168. Elijah Wood also 51. And again, we just talked about that. You know, the author, Adam Weishaupt in May 1st, right? The word conspiracy is also 51, so is federal, so is Rome. Think about Area 51. HBO has a new uh, new documentary series about UFOs in the nation. Uh, I've only watched like the first 15 minutes because it was all I could stomach because it's pretty much all politicians and news people grinning and laughing while talking about UFOs and how much the government has had an influence on UFO news over the years. And... Um, <laughs> Again, think about it this way. 1947 in the 47th state, Roswell, that was the second UFO sighting, but got all the fame. The first one was right before it. 
from the 47th parallel in Seattle, Washington, with something flying past Mount Rainier, another 47, and Seattle's up on the 47th parallel. But then you also have that big event in Arizona on March 13th, 13 slash 3. And I noticed that the main person for the new HBO documentary is the governor of Arizona when that incident happened on March 13th in the state. But notice, 13 slash 3, government 133, government 47, you know, all these grinning politicians to start a documentary for 15 minutes just kind of laughing in your face about all the influence government has on UFO news circulating over the years, you know. Again, you know, Gematria, it's just right in front of your face because they're showing you the dates and the years and all this stuff, and you're just like, God, man. You know, they got Obama laughing about it who took... The White House at age 47, of course, President's 47, White House is 47, Government's 47, Authority's 47, Democrat's 47, Republican is 47, came out of the Whig Party 47, DC's 47, Lincoln said four score and seven years ago as he created the Republican Party. So... And by the way, Frodo, who Elijah Wood plays, Frodo, 77, right? September 11th, 77, big number on the day. The two towers on 11-11 in 54, 47 years before the event. So that's why I always say the Lord of the... Uh, I've talked about this in the past. That's why I think the 9-11 planning goes back to sometime close to the end of World War II. But then the plan really went into motion in 1968 when they made 911 the National Emergency Dialing Code and World Trade Center construction began. And you know the rest of the list. But, um, yeah, it's, I've been pointing this out for years. It's not an accident that that's the case with the Lord of the Rings and how it came out afterwards. So this isn't anything new. These are things I covered years ago. But, um, again, it's why Amazon recently put out that documentary about the Illuminati and they give you all this stuff about how much they infiltrated and how many power players they had and how George Washington was worried about them. And, um... Sometimes I wonder about that whole angle, too, if George Washington was just playing his part, just like they do now. Again, he's got all the numbers. He was favored by the Catholic Church. But at the end of that documentary, they all laugh hysterically, all the people telling the story all along the way. They all laugh together at the notion that there could be any kind of power structure like the Illuminati today. Like, it's just so ridiculous and absurd. And it's obvious, man. It's, It's obvious that it's there. It's this Jesuit cabal, man, doing it all by the numbers every day. So, coding the same numbers every way. Okay, on today on 9-9, the first flight from America able to land in Afghanistan on 9-9, right? On the day we were named. Remember, Kabul, Afghanistan, was established in 1776, just like this nation that was named in 1776 on this day, just like the Bavarian Illuminati, all of those things. And the nickname for the Illuminati is the Cabal, and what, what's the name of that town in Afghanistan? Kabul? It sounds a lot like the Cabal. Kabul? Cabal? I mean, come on. Stuff's in your face. Kabul's another 11. When you write out 11, it's 99. No. It landed in Qatar, which equals 21 and 78 in the same ciphers as Jesuit. So here we are in 2021, the year that we said would be full of military Jesuit rituals. 2178, Jesuit 2178. Okay, with regards to, you know, military, North Korea on their birthday had a big parade. North Korea established September 9th in the year 48, 48, Illuminati 48, right? And remember, after 9-11, we got a lot of fear-mongering about the axis of evil, Iraq, Iran, North Korea, just endless fear programming with these nations, right? And we overthrew Iran in the fifth in the fifties with the CIA. What do you think we did, you know, with Korea in that same time, right? The Korean Wars. These are CIA boogeyman states, and um, I don't know if you guys have been here long enough, but if you have, you remember how we covered how two years in a row the mainstream media, con- you know, did it. I shouldn't. I was gonna say congratulate, but that wasn't the right word. Two years in a row, the mainstream media celebrated the 33rd birthday of Kim Jong Un. 
He turned 33 two years in a row, according to the mainstream media. Because I, I, I documented that at the time. I said, look, here's the old video of us doing this last year, then bringing up his 33rd birthday. And look, this year they're saying he turned 33 again. And then we talked about how his birth year went from 1983 to 1984. And that's what I was saying. I was like, well, they made it 1984, the infamous year. You know, the nation's always at war. You know, the, the, the boogeyman scapegoat North Korea. But yeah, if, if you guys have been here long enough, you remember that. When we were first covering, Kim Jong-un, he was born in 83. Then they changed it a year later. He became a year younger. Like how Chadwick Boseman's birthday changed when he died. But two years in a row, the mainstream media called attention to Kim Jong-un turning 33. And anyway, from his birthday to this military parade, September 9th, uh, you know, the crack of dawn on Thursday. Notice it's exactly 35 weeks. Thursday's 35, just like the... Kabul airport attack was exactly 35 weeks after Hamid Karzai's birthday, Thursday 35, always a big 35 ritual on Thursday. And um, again, just on 9-9, right? The nation established in 48 on 9-9. The Bavarian Illuminati established on a 99-date numerology with 13 families. So... I just had to point that out. This is its 73rd anniversary. I, I guess I should say this. There's 73 books in the Catholic Bible. Remember, that's the 21st prime, and Bible's 21 and the most pure. But uh, North Korea has the 145 in it in the same cipher as Catholic, 145. 73 books in the Catholic Bible. You know, the word army is 21, war is 21, Jesuits 21, the 73rd birthday, 21st prime, Catholics, Jesuits, the military order of the Catholic Church, rituals and numbers. I mean, it's it's obvious. Everything about North Korea, news, propaganda that always rolls out by the code. Remember, they were even uh, saying he died and they made a big deal like he died and his sister replaced him. And then they're like, oh, never mind. He didn't die. It's like, just totally, but that whole story was by the numbers, even though it was, it was a false alarm. Every damn thing they were released about this puppet nation, by the numbers. So, another 35 ritual on a Thursday, and um, couldn't be any more clear who's behind it. Uh, keep in mind, today, September 9th, leaves 113 days left in the year. I'll show you something about... The base ciphers, the two reduction ciphers, they have numerology rules that you can use. There's numerology rules for the 11th and 22nd letters because in numerology, you don't have to reduce 11 or 22. And there's also a rule for the 19th letter because it's the only letter you have to reduce two times. But look at um, look at United States when you use the numerology rules. You see how it's 113? And again, it was named that today, September 9th, the United States of America, 99, but today leaves 113 days left in the year, United States, 113. And the thing about 113 is, it is the number of deception from the Talmud, reminding of the Jewish origins with the Jesuits. Um, but again, just dishonesty, right? That always dishonest propaganda in our media, always about North Korea, just all the contrived headlines in fear. Just remember what 113 is, though, since this is North Korea's birthday. Uh, a puppet state, no doubt, created out of the Jesuit military order of this nation and, and the ongoing agendas of the world wars. But Baba Kama 113A is where it says it's okay for Jews to lie to non-Jews as long as it's in a legal setting, which is, again, everywhere in this world. Do you know anywhere in this world where you can go where it's not a legal setting? Because it's the middle of the ocean if no one sees you. Even still, though, technically there's laws. Anyway, mainstream, dishonest, perverted, not true, not honest, not factual, disinfo, politics, perjury, fiction, bullshit, infidelity, divorce, sinister, erroneous. All of those things are 113, and the list doesn't end there. You know, there, there's more to it. I think even on this list, like Green Screen, George Lucas, his first film, Piltdown Man, one of the best examples ever, the first lie of evolution. NASA established on the 113 date, the huge Titanic lie, how they took out the people that opposed the Federal Reserve and then and literally created the Federal Reserve. Hold on. Oh, this is an old post of mine before, before Young Ben came around. Illuminati Watch, Titanic teasing, November 27, 2013. That was before Young Ben came. I didn't link it there in that article. 
th- from the day the Titanic sunk, which it was uh, it began on 14 slash four Jesuit order 144, but then it fully submerged April 15th. From the day it fully submerged to the day that the Federal Reserve was established was the number of days that's the 113th prime number. But, um, yeah, again, just number of deception and and North Korea used as this tool of deception all the time, you know, nonstop fear-mongering. Wasn't it a big part of the Team America World Police plot as well? They always say Kim Jong-un had the biggest library of American videos in the world, the father of the current leader, current puppet, I should say. But, uh, yeah, North Korea with the military parade on a day that I can understand, the 73rd birthday and the 21st prime, you know, too obvious. Okay. This article was written today. Would Francis have become Pope if 9-11 hadn't happened? September 9th, 2021, article by Gerard O'Connell. And he explains why the events that um, shook up, you know, the Catholic Church and required the attention of, you know, someone in New York rather than being at the Vatican where he could have been the guy on the path. So the story, this story is about how, because of what happened on that day, it made it possible for Pope Francis <clears throat> The reason I <clears throat> I don't think any of that is correct, and Pope Francis was probably going to be the first Jesuit pope at this exact time for this exact reason, I think because of knowing Gematria, you can actually answer the question, and the answer to this question is no. He was going to be the pope already. Here's how you can tell. So, again, Pope Francis is 59. Remember, the 59th U.S. presidential election just passed that Joe Biden won, becoming number 46, exactly 46 weeks after the Pope's birthday. And remember, Bo Biden died at age 46, 201 days before Pope Francis' birthday, and inauguration day is 20 slash 1, like 201, and Pope Francis, Mr. 201, the big Jesuit order number. Again, Pope Francis has too many connections to 201 to deny. But anyway, looking back at Pope Francis... He became the Archbishop of Buenos Aires on February 28th. That's the 59th day of the year. So that's a huge move up the ladder. He is the top Catholic in Argentina on the 59th day of the year. And then we know that right before he became Pope, Benedict stepped down on February 28th, the 59th day of the year, so that Francis could replace him. So to me, just looking at this historical chain right here, it's obvious that Pope Francis is going to be the guy. And remember, Pope Francis is the 266th Pope, right? Isus Omnum Salvator is 266, the Jesuit motto. IHS, what's in their logo, stands for Isus Omnum Salvator. It's also 122, just like Pope Francis is 122. And um, what is it? Oh, it's World Trade Center. You see how World Trade Center's got that 85... Or no, what am I thinking? Is it September 11th? What is the 85 piece with September 11th? That's what it is. It's September 11th. September 11th has that 85 piece in it as well. Like Jesus Omnum Salvatore. And again, we invaded Afghanistan on the day leaving 85 days left in the year. Templar is 85. The Templar cross and the Jesuit logo. Pope Francis is 84 right now. Big Jesuit number. Jesuit 84, the Jesuit Order 84, the Catholic Church 84. If you leave the off this nation's title, United States of America 84. But um, the thing about Pope Francis being the 266th Pope in September 11th, notice from his last birthday to this story being written today about this is 266 days later, right? 266 days later they write this. And in the article, they emphasize how he's the, um, you know, his article begins like this. Is there a connection between the horrific attacks of September 11, 2001 and the election of Pope Francis 12 years later? As I argue in my book, the election of Pope Francis, the 9-11 attack not only changed world history, but also impacted the future of the Catholic Church. Why? Because it led to the then Archbishop of Buenos Aires rising to prominence and the College of Cardinals that would one day elect him as Pope. To understand this, it may be worth recalling that Pope John Paul II had nominated Jorge Mario Bergoglio first as auxiliary bishop of Buenos Aires in 92, and then as coadjutor, how do you say that? Coadjutor? I don't know that word. 
or is it coant? I don't know what that word is. Some Catholic word. Bishop in 97. The Jesuit took over as archbishop in February of 98 upon the death of his predecessor, and the Pope made him a cardinal on February 21st, 2001. Now, cardinal on the 52nd day of the year? Pope is 52, right? 52 weeks in the calendar year. So I'm thinking, you know, he was on his way to being Pope, and he was going through the motions. And um, again, that's why if you have this knowledge, you can answer a lot of questions that you can't without. So you can also make a lot of accurate projections that other people can't. There's just so much you can do because of this knowledge. And the people who don't grasp that are people with, you know, low, you know, intelligence. And sadly, that's a lot of people in this world, which is what we're up against. But we got to help these slower people out somehow, man. They, they need to see what's going on. You know, Pope Francis, when he spoke in D.C., September 23rd, 2015, that was the 266th day of the year, the 266th Pope, the first je publicly Jesuit, 23 slash 9, like 239, the 52nd prime. Pope 52, 52 weeks in the year, you know. By the way, um, I noticed when... <laughs> When I looked at my video today, I was see how, how the views were doing for TFR. It's, it's, it seems like it's always around 10,000 views the next day. Look at how they had this. 9.9K views 13 hours after the stream. It's like, come on, YouTube, with the 13 and 99 thing on 9.9. You know, the, the view stats, man. I know they're holding them down, but they're also definitely manipulating them. And just for a couple more closing thoughts, I brought this up yesterday, but just one more time. The Moo variant making the headlines these days to start the ninth month mu m is the 13th letter use the 21st 13 plus 21 is 34 34 is the ninth fibonacci number the ninth month we're hearing all about the mu virus and again in india they got a new variant the nipah virus new variant they think could be more deadly than covid19 this news in india is ford's pulling out by the numbers and just notice Nipah virus has that also familiar 56, that big Jesuit number. And um, I don't know if you saw when I began, but this story was up here in the headlines with Ford. Kentucky doctor, I think this is a surge of fear now, <laughs> you know. And um, the they, you can see the, the story is about a woman named Vera Middleton. If you click on it, the headline that they have here is not nearly as eye-catching. Kentucky hospital pushed to its limits as lawmakers extend state of emergency due to COVID-19 surge. But uh, they got a 66-year-old woman on 9-9, right? But look at the gematria of Vera Middleton, you guys. Vera Middleton, 142. I mean, I don't even want to talk about the 61 and 74, the Jesus numbers and like the Society of Jesus, but coronavirus, right? So many 142 coronavirus rituals. Here's another one. The story of Vera Middleton. And um, I'm sure there's a lot more to it, but honestly, I, just, I don't need to decode any more stories that code coronavirus because I've just been doing it all year. I got to bring up the 120 counties in Kentucky. I think I know why on 9-9, nine, nine, in case you forget. 9-9, nine, nine, big with the Illuminati. 120. And we know we know the Illuminati's in uh, Kentucky, man. Helped us win a lot of money this year. Run for the Roses, 201, big 201 ritual. Is Medina Spirit want, run it? Kentucky Derby at Churchill Downs. The Catholic Church, the Jesuits, the Illuminati, Order of Illuminati 201, the Jesuit Order 201. Again, Pope Francis, Jorge Mario Bergoglio 201. Let me spell it right. There it is. Bergoglio, Ignatius of Loyola, the founder. Again, and it goes beyond just the letters and numbers. The Jesuits saved by Catherine the Great, who preserved the order with 201 Jesuits. You know. Pope Francis, the first pope to live in suite 201 and <laughs> event 201. There's your most. Again, just the fact that they did event 201, the coronavirus simulation, the day the military world games began in Wuhan, China, military world games that are credited to the Jesuits and began in Rome in 95. It's just these people know they can get away with murder. This is also in the headlines today. Innocent until proven Muslim. How Islamophobia lingers in post 9-11 era. I wonder if CNN in this article apologizes anywhere or takes any accountability. I mean, I wonder why the, the news media 
went nonstop blaming Muslims for a clear lie for a major agenda. I'm scanning the article. I don't see any apology. I don't see any recognition of their part in it. CNN, who broke a lot of the early details of 9-11, including the first footage of a plane. (laughs) I wonder if maybe that's why they have a plane with a cross through it. Or, you know, kind of like a no-smoking thing. Yeah, the media is the media. The same media that uh, sits back and, like, uh, makes money off the ratings of race riots and and acts like people are so terrible when it's the same media that for years programmed people to be racist in all sorts of ways. Nightly programming. Uh, Some terrible crime with an unknown black man as the culprit. Look for a black man between age 20 and 50 and between 5'6 and 6'2. It's like, oh, every black guy in the city, huh? Wow, thanks, Nightly News. Same story every day. Wanted black man out there. Could look like any black man you've ever seen. Man, why are people so racist? Why are people Islamophobic? Maybe if we could burn your studio to the ground, we'd start solving some problems. But, um... Yeah, I'm going to leave it there for now. So much work to do, true seeker. So much work to do. Never enough time. And, um... Thank you again for everyone who tuned in, who will share the video, who hit the like. Thank you to everyone who's ever supported the books, the Patreon. And um, we'll leave it there. Till next time.